When your home's got three and a half million inhabitants, plus thousands of tourists, someone's bound to come into contact with a deadly snake. And one massive forest cobra has decided to move into a certain trailer park for the summer. A few weeks ago, we got a call from a guy that stays at a trailer park. Lots of other residents there as well. Uh, kids, dogs, you name it. They're very concerned because they keep seeing a big forest cobra creating havoc, just going from pillar to post, and they're all panicking. So we went along there to try and catch the snake. When we went there to try and catch it a week ago, they showed us a video of the snake. It was definitely a forest cobra, easily eight foot long. Goes straight along there into the park. We searched the park the cobra went into and saw that it led under the house. It's gone, there's a hole in the corner of the drain. It's gone underneath the house, so there's no way we can catch it. It's impossible. But it will come out again. It will come out when it wants to. Because the forest cobra is so deadly, we can't just leave it here. So I told the guy the only way we could catch it is with a trap. This trap is designed with a rat cage on one end, which is sealed off from the piping. The cobra will smell the rats and enter the pipe to try and find them. But there's a trap door that only opens one way, so the snake can't get out again and stays trapped in the pipe. The rats are safe, and we get our snake. It's been a week since we set our trap, so let's hope we've caught our problem cobra. Be careful, cos it might be in that bit. Let's just have a quick look. There's talk. nothing up that side. No, I don't think so. There's nothing in there. I'll get food. Get the food, yeah. No luck with the forest cobra today. So we feed the rats and top up their water. We'll have to return in a week or so. At least the rats are OK. That's the main thing. <laughs>